Ku Shui. Chow Thief Unexpectedly is my self-introduction. Traveling to the world of Detective Conan and becoming a member of the Black Organization, Bai Yi discovers that as long as he meets the corresponding conditions, he can unlock corresponding achievements and receive system rewards. So Max with Bell Mod, Unlocked Achievement. First glass of red wine, accumulated arrest of 1,000 prisoners, unlocked achievement. Evil enemy star, Jehu Xiaolan, unlock achievement. Love is a ray of light, Bai Yi said, nonsense. How could you falsely accuse someone of innocence in the system? My girlfriend only has. Chapter 1 We have a traitor among us. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Let go of me, let go of me, I have shed blood for the organization, I have made contributions to the organization. You cannot treat me like this, I want to see boss. I want to see boss. In a dimly lit room, two men wearing, crow-like black, clothes clasped their wrists left and right, and the man holding his shoulder was kneeling in front of a desk, constantly wailing. But you also let your companions bleed for you. Behind the desk, a tall man wearing a black trench coat and a black top hat, with a hat and bangs half covering his face, with a pale complexion and long silver hair, coldly gazed at the man who was being held by two black-clad men. His name is Qin Jiu, and he is one of the important backbone members of the black organization. He often appears with vodka and receives direct orders from the gentleman. Since you joined the organization, you have been performing tasks 26 times, seriously injured 4 times, and endangered once. If it weren't for these things in my hands, I wouldn't have believed that the reason for the problems in the last operation was because you were playing tricks. Which force are you working for? FBI. CI, Mi-6. Japanese police. Forget it. It's not important anymore. Upon hearing these words, the man forced to kneel on the ground couldn't help but tremble all over. Because he knew that what Qin Jiu said was not important, not to spare him, but not to let him live anymore. I, I have nothing to do with the last action, Lord Qin Jiu. Although his face turned extremely pale, the man still tried his best to argue for himself, Lord Qin Jiu, it's really not me. I have been serving the organization for many years, and you are most aware of my loyalty. Qin Zhou shook his head and ignored him, but turned his gaze to the two black-clothed men. Where's Shirley? It doesn't matter if you're not telling the truth, there are only a few forces around. It's not FBI, it's CIA, or Japanese police, etc. Noticing his gaze, one of the people in black lowered his head and respectfully said, Your Highness, Sherry is conducting research in the laboratory. Qin Jiu nodded and said, then send him over. A fresh experimental body is sure to greatly accelerate the progress of new drug development. A small character like this, even if interrogated, probably won't be able to gather any important intelligence. Instead of spending time and not gaining much in the end, it's better to simply waste it and let the other party contribute to the development of new drugs. Yes, sir. After receiving the order, the two black-clad men without hesitation dragged the man's arms and walked out. No. No. Seeing this, the man quickly struggled frantically. He doesn't want to see any Shirley, let alone become an experimental subject. Don't think he's not a codenamed cadre, so you don't know what new drugs are. The new drug in the mouth of Chinjio is a drug developed by the organization. As it is in the experimental stage, the semi-finished drug in the experimental period is toxic and can cause rapid death of the drug user. After death, the cause of death cannot be detected, and no toxins can be found in the corpse examination, thus achieving the perfect crime of killing without leaving any traces. Therefore, it is generally used as a killing poison by members of the black organization. Perhaps there is a great terror between life and death, so the man's potential explodes. Or perhaps it is unexpected that the man dared to resist in front of the code name official of the organization, Qin Jiu. In a moment, the two black-clad men were really shaken off by the man and rushed to Qin Jiu's desk. Lord Qin Jiu, believe me, 
I really haven't betrayed the organization, nor have I leaked the organization's plan to anyone. Two people in black on the side, seeing the man break free from constraints and still in front of the code name cadres of their organization, their faces suddenly looked a bit ugly. The two were about to step forward again to control the man, but Qin Jiu waved his hand at them. Seeing this, the two of them had to obediently retreat to the side. However, although they retreated to the side, the two of them were staring at the man with fierce eyes, ready to take action at any time if there was any abnormality in the man. Although they do not feel that with the strength of men, they can pose any threat to the code name cadres of their organization, at the very least, they still need to have the attitude they deserve in front of their superiors. Looking at the man kneeling in front of him, constantly debating, Qin Jiu remained silent. He just placed his fingertips on the table and gently tapped it, making heartstrings tremble with a clattering sound. Every tapping sound makes the man feel like his heart has stopped beating. In the silence, Qin Jiu stared at the man with a pair of cold and sharp eyes, seemingly pondering something. Then, with a cold expression, a hint of darkness burst out in his eyes, and he slowly said. The organization's actions have been repeatedly thwarted, and even the locations of many bases seem to have been leaked. Since you claim to be loyal to the organization, then go to Sherry's place and take a small test to prove your innocence. I believe you don't mind, do you? Upon hearing the choice given by Qin Jiu, the man's pupils trembled uncontrollably. Mind. How could he possibly not mind? You know, this test can be deadly. Because animal experiments have not been successful in the development of new drugs, and if human experiments can be successful, it's a ghost. Moreover, even if one survives by chance, only heaven knows if they will become any monsters after the experiment. At this thought, his voice trembled as he said, Sir, you're asking me to die. Ha <laughs> ha. Upon hearing this, Qin Jiu sneered and lifted his head, looking down at him with an emotionless gaze. Do you mean to say that you are loyal to the organization when you dare not face even a small test? After speaking, Qin Jiu waved his hand expressionlessly. Take it with you. Obviously, he has completely lost his last bit of patience with the man in front of him. Yes, sir. The two black-clad men walked forward again and twisted the man's arm. This time, they used even more force than before. Obviously, with the previous experience of the man breaking free, this time they will not give the man a second chance. No. No. You can't do this to me. I want to see boss. I want to see boss. The man desperately pressed the soles of his feet against the ground, trying to stop the man in black from dragging. Unfortunately, in front of the two serious black-clad men, his struggles were all in vain, and in the end, only a bitter friction sound remained. As the man was dragged away, the dim room returned to tranquility once again. Watching the figures of the few people disappear, Qin Zhou's fingers kept tapping on the table. In recent years, in the organization, traders and undercover agents have emerged one by one like endless mice. On the surface, they all appear to be loyal organizational cadres and senior members. As a result, digging deeper okay, this is where intelligence organizations from various countries come to organize exchanges and team building. As the number one model worker in the organization specifically responsible for cleaning up the portal, Qin Jiu said that he was really looking for an undercover agent. Finding an insider is a bit tiring. As the frequency of tapping increases, the expression of the Qin wine also becomes more profound. Because the problem of catching an insider is not so easy to solve. You should know that even as a member of the organization who is responsible for the security of the organization, specifically eliminating enemies, traitors, and exposing identities, he is quite helpless when facing those insiders and undercover agents within the organization. Because these undercover agents seem to have endless layers, killing this batch, and the next batch, is really annoying to him. Suddenly, as I casually scanned a photo on the desktop, a strange light flashed through the dark green pupils of Qin Jiu's eyes, indicating an idea. Perhaps we can delegate this task to that guy. Thinking this way, 
Qin Zhou took out his phone and dialed a certain number. Chapter 2 Is it myself as an undercover? You are listening at NovelFull.audio A villa in the United States, New York. Ding Ling Ling. When I heard the piercing phone ringing suddenly, and then saw the familiar number on the screen, a young man with fair skin, handsome features, and soft and loose black hair in his ears, like a scattered night sky, couldn't help but frown slightly. Well done, Qin Zhou, what are you calling him for? Is it possible that the organization is taking action again? Thinking this way, the handsome young man pressed the connect button and said, Hey, Qin Zhou, what can I do for you? The next moment, a deep and cold voice came from the phone, and it was Qin Zhou who said, Bit, you have a new mission. Upon hearing this, the boy known as Bit raised his eyebrows lightly and said, What mission? Surprisingly, it is necessary for this model worker from the distillery to personally convey the message. It seems that this task is extraordinary. However, in my impression, during this period, the distillery should not have taken too much action. But now, why? Is it because of his appearance as an outsider that the variables are caused? That's right, Byte is not actually a person from this world, but a traveler, whose real name is White Knight. For years ago, he was still a blue star studying as a college student. Due to an accident, he traveled to the world of Detective Conan and became a member of it. His name also had a popular prefix before it. Aozaki. Later, due to some fortuitous circumstances, he met a spicy woman and was taken to the organization in black by her. Furthermore, due to sufficient effort, as well as a bit of talent and networking, at a young age, he was given the code name bit by the adult, making him one of the youngest code name cadres in the black organization. Bitters, also known as bitters or cocktails, are alcoholic beverages made by adding bark, roots, spices, and medicinal herbs to wine or distilled spirits. This wine has a bitter and astringent taste, with an alcohol content ranging from 16 to 40 degrees. Finnet Blanca, produced in Milan, Italy, is the most famous bitter liquor in Italy. The Branca family, founded in 1845, has always continued the traditional brewing method of using natural herbs as raw materials. More than 30 kinds of herbs and spices from four continents have been selected. After infusion, extraction, and frying, they are skillfully integrated with liquor, leaving essence and beneficial ingredients in the final product. Its alcohol content is 40.45, and its taste is very bitter. It is known as the king of bitter wine. After pondering for a moment, Qin Zhou slowly said, the location of many of the organization's bases seems to have been leaked, and even operations in other countries have been repeatedly obstructed. Obviously, there are insiders in the organization, and they are likely to hold high positions. When it came to this, Qin Zhou's expression brightened. In order to ensure the smooth implementation of the organization's plan, the organization has decided to find a way to dig out these mice before the next action begins. Bai Yi was a little taken aback and said, Oh. You want to catch an inner ghost again? The black organization he belongs to is a mysterious multinational criminal group that has been engaged in various criminal activities for over half a century since its establishment, with members using the name of the liquor as their code name. And when it comes to the corporate culture of black-clad organizations, there is no doubt that it is undercover agents. In the organization, almost all of them have been infiltrated by undercover agents from various international forces, saying that even if they mix wine with water, they will raise it. It is called a distillery, but in reality it is a water plant. The black-clothed organization, including branches, has 30 known individuals, and one dot third of them are either undercover agents or traitors. Among them, four people left the organization, one person was arrested, and fifteen people died, at least six were killed by their own people. Among the remaining ten members, two are undercover agents, one is a backer, two are not united, one is a scumbag in battle, three are slackers, and one is a jinn. The organization has been able to sustain itself until now, and it can be said that the role model of Qinjiu is indispensable. 
If one day the black organization is destroyed, it is very likely that Qin Jiu will clean up all the undercover agents in the organization, leaving him alone. To be honest, it's not easy to get to the level of code name cadres, and it's not easy to quit now. Bai Yi really wants to abandon the dark and switch to the red side. After all, an undercover agent from another organization who infiltrates like a sieve really has no future. Moreover, there are too many undercover agents and insiders from other organizations in the black organization. He is really afraid that one day, he will be killed by some undercover agents as a credit. The most crucial thing is that if you go against the red camp, it's easy to get against the protagonist. And how many villains can have a good ending if they go against the protagonist? Don't you see, those members of the black organization were either missing, committing suicide, or simply silenced by their teammates during their contact with the protagonist Conan. He doesn't want to be the next, victim. That's right. Qin Jiu nodded lightly and said, you have the shortest time joining the organization, the cleanest foundation, and the easiest to forge your identity. Therefore, the organization is preparing to send you to the Japanese police station. Wait. Bai Yi felt something was wrong and quickly spoke up, interrupting Qin Jiu's words. Do you mean, you don't want me to go clean up with you, but you want me to be an undercover agent? Qin Jiu raised his lips and said, hmm. Did you actually guess? It seems that during your time in the United States, your brain has not been completely corroded by that woman's body yet. This plan is great. Bai Yi ignored the mockery of Qin Wine and said with a displeased expression, but I refuse. I'm just feeling more comfortable here in the United States, so you're planning to get me to Japan. And you're still going to work as an undercover agent. Are you kidding me? I'm not going. Not long after taking a vacation, I will be caught working overtime, and I have to work a deadly shift. In Bai Ye's heart, it is impossible to say that there is no dissatisfaction. If there's nothing else, I'll just hang up. Leaving aside the fact that undercover agents are in enemy forces, they can easily become dangerous if they are not careful. Not to mention dying in a foreign land, if they form new bonds with that enemy during their time as undercover agents, it is even easier for them to become outsiders. The most important thing is that Japan has the existence of the Death God Elementary School student, who is the protagonist Conan. The name, Death God Elementary School student, one of Tokyo's twin evils, is not just for fun. If the other character in the Tokyo twin evil, Kanita, meets whoever dies, then in the world of Detective Conan, Hidagawa Conan dies wherever he goes. Wherever the other party goes, there must be a murder happening. Especially for enemy hero units, there is a chance of sudden and bizarre death. According to incomplete statistics, in just one year since taking office as a Reaper Elementary School student, Hidagawa Conan has assassinated more than 1,000 people in the 11th district, and has also sent over 1,000 murderers to prison. The nickname, Death God Elementary School Student, is the best true portrayal of his great achievements. Such a dangerous person, he has to think too hard to go to the other party's territory. Qin Jiu sneered and said, Bit. This is not a discussion, but a notice, and at the same time, this is also what your family means. As he spoke, Qin Jiu took a faint puff of smoke and said, Hmm, if you really don't want to, you can go find your family and discuss theory. Although he dislikes that woman more, it has to be said that when it comes to dealing with someone, they are very suitable. At least it can save him a lot of trouble. Is that for my family? What does Sister Bay mean? Upon hearing these words, Bai Ye's expression hesitated. Code name Cadre, he doesn't care about this identity, even if it's an honor that only important members of the organization can have. But when it comes to spicy women, he can't help but care. After all, if it weren't for a spicy woman picking him up from the orphanage, he might still be running around for a living. Moreover, if it weren't for the help of the other party, no matter how outstanding he was, he wouldn't have been able to enter the eyes of that adult so early and be promoted to the code name cadre of the organization on an exceptional basis. He can't justify such kindness without repaying it properly. 
Well, most importantly, the spicy woman is now his woman. Will his own woman still harm him? Thinking this way, Bai Yi pondered for a moment and said dryly, Okay. Since the organization has already agreed and the spicy woman has nodded, what else can he say? As an undercover agent, just be an undercover agent. Although the police station has more enemies, with his strength, as long as he acts carefully, there is still no big problem. And, you can take this opportunity to take a break for yourself. You should know that since he came to the United States, a thousand faced which who was also on a mission in the country came to him. Then, he will have no free time. It was only recently that the other party went out to perform other tasks that he had the opportunity to take a break. But when the other party completes the task, they will inevitably come back to find him again. This way, it won't work. It's not that Belmard is not beautiful enough. Belmoud has a very beautiful appearance, a delicate and charming face, a seductive and mature figure, and is like a witch, full of mysterious and tempting flavors. He is one of the stars that Yukiko and Xiaolan like, Belmore's apparent identity is American actress Sharon Winyat. For some reason, she regained her youthfulness or stopped aging, and later publicly claimed to be Sharon's daughter, Chris Winard, after her death. Moreover, Belmod was a disciple of the first generation of the monster thief Kid Black Feather Thief, proficient in disguise and voice changing techniques, and had a high level of proficiency. He could disguise himself into anyone and was known as the Thousand Faced Witch. In other words, marrying Belmard is equivalent to marrying all the beauties in the world. But no matter how beautiful Belmard is, he cannot resist the constant harm he causes. He is human, flesh and blood not made of iron. And he's only 19 years old. If I were only 19, I would have to walk against the wall. What a shame. Qin Jiu sneered coldly. Sure enough, he knew that if he lifted that woman out, Bai Yi would obediently bow down. However, he did not deceive Bai Yi either. The spicy woman did know about this and even nodded too much. Otherwise, even if he is the confidant of that adult, it is not easy to send Bai Yi to other countries for missions, and he is still performing undercover missions. After all, although Bai Yi is the youngest code name cadre, his popularity within the organization is excellent. In the black organization, except for a very small number of people, there are almost no code name cadres who have a bad relationship with the other party. Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net whether it's the neurotic Gianti, the Shirley who inherits her parents' research, or the trusted Caruso of the second in command of the black organization, Ram. Especially, it is highly valued or, in other words, favored by a hot woman. So, if it's not necessary, he really doesn't want to get into too much trouble with the other party. Tisk. Looking at the communication hanging up in front of Bai Yi, the smile on her lips gradually disappeared. You know, it's not been a month since he completed his last task, and his family member has only been away for three days. As a result, he's going on a business trip again now. I really don't give him any chance to recharge, do I? His life is too hard, isn't it? Damn it, sooner or later, he will take out all the old employees riding on his head and become the leader of the organization himself. And just as Bai Yi was muttering incessantly, a mechanical yet icy voice suddenly rang out in his mind. Ding, as a member of the black organization, you will be placed as an undercover agent in the Japanese police station. Congratulations on unlocking your achievement. Standing up in shock while dying, the undercover agent is actually me. Please select your reward. 1. Transfiguration, Mastery you have a high level of proficiency in transfiguration and can transform into anyone, whether it's an 80-year-old person or a young girl, it's not a problem. 2. Bomb Disposal Expert, Proficient In bomb disposal, you have a unique talent. No matter how complex the bomb is, its structure is easier to see than the average person, and the dismantling speed is far faster than the average person. 3. Vehicle Mastery you can proficiently drive various mobile tools, whether it is land transportation, water vehicles, 
or aerial vehicles. Chapter 3 Remaking the glory of the distillery, our generation is undoubted. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Upon hearing the voice in his mind, Baye's eyes suddenly became sharp. Because the voice that suddenly appeared in his mind was none other than his golden finger, the full name of the achievement system. Its function is simple and direct. As long as the corresponding conditions are met during the day and night, corresponding achievements can be unlocked and rewards given by the system can be obtained. Unfortunately, not all of these rewards can be obtained, and only one of the three rewards can be selected. I have to say, it's a regret. Fortunately, after so many years of hard work, Baiyi has also gained some good things from the system. Name Sanchi Bay, Bay, H. 19 Intrinsic Talent Advanced Gun Sense, Advanced You have an extraordinary gun sense, able to distinguish different sounds in firearms, and have a far superior talent in shooting, making you a natural marksman eye of insight, intermediate. Can detect any target and obtain its data, such as target construction, target position, etc. Talent is divided into four levels based on level, namely beginner, intermediate, advanced, and perfect. Skills held. Transfiguration, mastery. You have a high level of proficiency in transfiguration and can transform into anyone, whether it's an 80-year-old or a young girl. Voice transformation technique, mastery. You are skilled at changing your own voice and can easily imitate anyone's voice. Explosive ghost talent, proficient. In the field of bombs, you have a unique talent, whether it's making, assembling, or dismantling, it's not a problem. Firearms mastery, mastery. You are proficient in various firearms shooting techniques and can accurately predict the flight trajectory and landing point of bullets, wind speed, air humidity, etc. Close-up mastery, mastery. You are proficient in various close combat techniques, including but not limited to Muay Thai, Karate, Jeet Kune Do, Baji Fist, and more. Skills are classified according to their levels. Beginner, Rough, Proficient, Expert, Master, and Master. Among them, in terms of disguise techniques, Yukiko Kudo is at the proficiency level, Expert at Belmod level, and Heiyu Thief is a disguise master. Unlocked Achievements New Entry into the Wine Gate Join the Black Organization, Advanced Gun Sense, Remake the Glory of the Distillery, it is our duty to do so. Become the code name cadre of the Black Organization, proficient in close combat, art is explosion. Successfully handmade 100 bombs, explosive genius, first glass of red wine. Have a good impression of Max with Belmud and applaud for love, voice change technique, this is a necessary sacrifice. Expose the identity of Shuichi Akai FBI agent and participate in the encirclement and suppression operations, inside eye. It was precisely with these rewards from the system and his personal efforts that he was able to sit in the position of codenamed cadre at a young age. Thinking this way, Baiyi looked at the new reward given by the system. Transfiguration Technique Passed decisively Although plastic surgery is a good choice, who made him already have a good girlfriend who is good at plastic surgery. After being picked up by the other party and organized in black, he followed them and learned the art of facial contouring for a period of time. In addition, over the years, with the other party's close guidance and nighttime teaching, his disguise technique has long been no less than that of a certain Empress Dan Princess. Even for the time being, it may not be as good as my girlfriend and the master of disguise, hey you thieves, but in terms of disguise techniques, I can still be considered a master. At the very least, it's more than enough to deal with those people from the Japanese police station. Moreover, he is only on a mission, not bidding farewell to his girlfriend. As long as the two are not separated, it is completely a matter of minutes for him to continue learning and improving his facial contouring skills. Not to mention, his disguise technique has already reached the proficiency level. And at the expert level, it is not a problem that can be solved by the fusion of two masters. So, he had no need to waste his precious rewards on the choice of disguising. 
As for bomb disposal experts, this is a good choice. Unfortunately, he already has the explosive genius, so there is no need to add any extra skill of the same type. After all, the SODOT called bomb disposal refers to the operation of trained professional technicians, usually bomb experts, to dismantle explosives in order to prevent them from exploding. In other words, bomb experts are the best bomb disposal experts. Since both disguising techniques and bomb disposal experts have been excluded, the answer is very clear. Without a doubt, only vehicles are proficient. Coincidentally, the place where he is going next is the Japanese police station. A female police officer's hobby is racing. As recognized by the Metropolitan Police Department, Mizuko Sato is not only beautiful and has strong fighting skills, but also has no words to say about her driving skills. She can shake off racing enthusiasts from afar and make sounds similar to women's screams. In addition, her car is a silver-white FV, and some have seen a beautiful girl driving, hence the name, Silver White Witch. Yu Yu reading www.yuyukeungshu.net he can use this skill as a knocking brick to quickly approach the flower of the police station and establish a good relationship with the other party. Or, it can be used to deal with female police officers from the transportation department, Yumi Miyamoto, and Miko Sanchi. Ding! Congratulations to the host for obtaining the skill, Vehicle Mastery. As the system sound fell, Bai Yi only felt a warm current pouring into his body. In the next moment, a pile of things also appeared in his mind. That is undoubtedly knowledge about vehicles. From manual to automatic, from cars to pickups, business vehicles, vans, trucks, buses, excavators, bulldozers, trains, from tanks, to ships, airplanes. As long as it is a mobile tool used by humans, there is no one that has been missed. Moreover, what he has mastered is not only the usage methods of various vehicles, but also the knowledge of dismantling, repairing, and maintaining various models of vehicles. Baiyi even knows the impact of wind speed and light on vehicles while driving. It's really a wonderful feeling. Turning left and right, Baiyi looked at his hands with a sigh on his face. Now he only feels a special familiarity with vehicles, just like he is not actually a cute new person, but an old driver who has been driving for ten years. If he were given a car now, he would be able to perform divine operations such as drifting under the moon and turning drainage channels in minutes. And this is just mastery level vehicle control. Baiyi couldn't even imagine how powerful the expert level vehicle control would be, let alone the master and master levels above the expert level. Leaving the building effortlessly. Or, could it be like the one in the theatrical version where the car is equipped with a rigid magnetic levitation on the front? Chapter 4 Even the fastest 86 can't catch up with Mercedes-Benz. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. 5. Chome, Mihuacho, Japan On the street, at this moment, there is a silver-gray Mercedes-Benz W210 leisurely advancing at an average speed of 30 km per hour. The unique four-round lamp design, combined with the rounded body lines, creates a classical maturity that is different from the square and steady. The elegant and slender side lines are also beautiful and atmospheric. The chrome trim and door handles on the body are still brand new and shiny, and only the traces of time on the wheels tell its story. And the owner of this car is undoubtedly a handsome young man who looks only 18 or 19. That's right, this handsome young man is Bai Yi. After receiving the rewards from the system and tidying up a bit, Bai Yi rushed non-stop from the United States to Japan. After all, if he arrives in Japan earlier, he can also prepare for the next action earlier. As for this modified Mercedes-Benz W210, it was a birthday gift from Belmore when he was 18 years old, and also his coming-of-age gift. Well, various forms of coming-of-age gifts. Originally, Baiyi wanted an AE86 as a birthday gift, but later he thought about driving an AE86, which was a bit unlucky, so he switched to a Mercedes-Benz W210. After all, even the fastest 86 can't catch up with Mercedes-Benz. 
And while driving an 86 can taste the sweetness of summer trees, driving a Mercedes-Benz not only brings sweetness, but also the salty taste of summer trees. Well, it's just that I don't know where his summer tree is now and who the unlucky Tuahai is. With this thought in mind, Bai Yi held the steering wheel in one hand, stopped at an intersection, and then took out his phone to call Qingjiu. Hello, Jin, I've arrived in Japan. So fast. Qin Jiu raised his eyebrows when he heard the sound coming from his phone. Bai Yi, this guy was okay before he became a code name cadre. He was quite proactive when it came to tasks. But since becoming a code name cadre, I have been either staying in the organization all day, being a slacker, a happy person, or engaging in office romance, not doing anything serious, it's like wasting that talent in vain. He originally thought the other party would continue to fall like this, but he didn't expect that this time, the other party would become so positive. Could it be that you received some stimulation from that woman in Belmont? As he pondered in his heart the reason for the change in the night, Jin raised the corner of his mouth and showed a smile that could stop children from crying at night. Never mind, since you're here, hurry up and report to the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Station. No matter what kind of stimulation Bai Yi has received, in short, being able to execute tasks with a positive attitude is a good thing. Coincidentally, your forged information is almost ready here. As he spoke, Qin Jiu revealed the identity he had prepared for Bai Yi, you are now a returnee from studying abroad in the United States, named Sanchi Bai Yi. With this identity, you can enter the police station as quickly as possible. In theory, obtaining a professional group identity at Dongda would be more convenient for entering the police station during the day and night, as well as climbing up. After all, Dongda is the only recognized method of changing class in the 11th district, and it is also the largest academic conglomerate in Kanto, with senior students taking care of wherever they graduate. But the problem is that we cannot get involved with Dongda. Because there are definitely many students in the Japanese police at Tohoku University. Then, a few senior students will chat with you and ask your teachers, classmates, and so on, and then just reveal your secrets. Okay. Even if you know the names of a few teachers, what if you happen to bump into their students? So, you absolutely can't choose Peking University. Fortunately, they have another option besides Dongda. That's European and American international students. Moreover, to some extent, this option may be more popular than the vocational group of Dongda. After all, the 11th district is quite foreign-oriented, and the identity of European and American international students may be more popular than that of Dongda students. Um. That. Bai Yi tilted her head, can I change my identity? Hmm. Qin Jiu squinted his eyes slightly. What's going on? Bit, do you have any other plans? Bai Yi did not answer directly, but asked an unrelated question, Qin Jiu, what do you think of the Japanese police? Although I didn't know exactly what Bai Yi wanted to say, Qin Jiu firmly said, waste. For Jin, the Japanese police are indeed a group of trash. After dealing with the Japanese police for so long, Chinjo felt that its level of waste was comparable to that of the organization's intelligence team. Moreover, a police officer who needs to rely on high school detectives to support the scene does not deserve too much respect from him. Even if it weren't for the fear of making a big fuss and being difficult to clean up, this time Jin was actually not planning to have White Knight undercover, but was preparing to directly lead someone to attack the Japanese police station and snatch out the list of undercover agents recorded by the police station in the organization. Bai Ye's mouth curved slightly upwards, outlining a strange curve. Do you think that if there were a wild detective in the media who was constantly suppressing the police, Yu Yu Kanshu? Net, then what would they do? What would the Japanese people think of them? There are two options. Qin Jiu's eyes flickered, and he might know what his colleague wanted to do. One is to suppress him, and the other is to find a way to make him his own person. In the 11th district, there is a coexistence of xenophobic and foreign-oriented attitudes. For example, among the same elites, 
those who emerge from Dongda are reliable successors, while the rest are workers. If, as Bai Yi said, there is a wild detective who steals the police's attention and damages their credibility at such times, then the Japanese police will undoubtedly take action against this person, either to suppress or win them over. That's right. Bai Yi nodded heavily, so, I'm planning to be this person, and I'll also find a way for them to win me over. Rather than forging someone else's identity and going to the undercover police station, I prefer to be personally invited by them. After all, people often cherish things that can only be obtained through hard work more, and at the same time, they are less likely to doubt them. Ha! Please do as you please. Qin Jiu sneered without hesitation, but if you miss the right thing, you will bear the consequences yourself. Don't worry. When did I ever disappoint you? Bai Yi smiled confidently, next, you can wait and see my wonderful performance. Hanging up the phone, Bai Yi was about to drive to a nearby base to meet his other colleague and get in touch with him, but suddenly heard a burst of hurried footsteps coming from behind. At the same time, there was an angry female voice. Stop. Don't run. Chapter 5 Sit still, I'm about to depart. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Upon hearing this voice, Bai Yi was slightly stunned because he always felt that the female voice was somewhat familiar, as if he had heard it somewhere before. But before Bai Yi could recall who the owner of the female voice was, he saw a man in black clothes and pants rushing past his car. Looking at the panicked expression on the other person's face, it was like there was a female tiger behind her, and it seemed like she was running for her life. Upon seeing this, the owner of the voice, who had a refreshing and sharp black short hair, was beautiful with purple eyes, wearing a light blue suit and short blue skirt. He was tall and exuding a sense of righteousness, which made the woman who was looking at him suddenly angry and let out an unwilling roar. Damn it, stop me. Unfortunately, the man in black ignored her at all and instead, without looking back, got into a Volkswagen car by the roadside and left. So it's her. Is this catching a criminal? Seeing this scene, and then looking at the heroic figures reflected in the rearview mirror, Bai Ye's expression was somewhat subtle. Because he recognized the identity of the person who came, it was Sato Miko, the most popular beautiful police officer in the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department's Criminal Investigation Division, who was a member of the third department of the police department and was known as the Flower of the Metropolitan Police Department. Originally, after obtaining vehicle mastery, he had the idea of approaching the opponent through racing. Unexpectedly, before the plan was implemented, he encountered the main owner. For a moment, he didn't even know if it was time to say they were destined. However, upon careful consideration, as a female police officer from the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department, it is not surprising that Miyako Sato will appear here in Miwacho. After all, Mihua Town is in Tokyo. With this thought in mind, Bai Yi noticed that Miko Sato, who was already extremely angry about the black-clad man's escape, looked at him with a surprised expression on his face. Hello, I am Miko Sato from Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department. Standing in front of Bai Ye's car, Mito Sato took out her identification documents and knocked on the car window, her face full of anxiety. I have an emergency situation now and need to temporarily requisition your vehicle. I hope you can help me. Bai Yi raised his eyebrows lightly and said, Officer, are you trying to catch the culprit? That's right, do me a favor and catch up with the car ahead. The guy who just ran in is a robber. Taking a deep glance at her, Bai Yi decisively opened the car door and said, Okay, get in the car. Officer Sato. The police are busy and in need of help. As a good citizen, Bai Yi naturally cannot shirk his duty. After all, the police and the people are a family. Moreover, having a good relationship with Miko Sato, the flower of the Metropolitan Police Department, also makes it more convenient for him to proceed with his next plans. As for whether someone is robbing in public, Bai Yi was not surprised by this at all. After all, there was a robbery and theft case in the world of science, which was the most normal thing. Especially in the area of Mihua town. 
If the city of Dongmu in fate is famous for the gas explosion and the city of nuclear peace, then Mihuacho, a famous detective named Konanli, is famous for its friendship with its neighbors and simple folk customs in anime. In Mihua town, you may just go to the bank to withdraw money, or go to a department store to buy something. It is very likely that you will encounter heinous criminals, or even have a minor conflict with your neighbors, such as accidentally cutting off a branch in their yard and being brutally killed by them according to reliable intelligence. In just six months, there were 247 victims of murder in Mihuacho, with an average of 1.3 deaths per day, and even some cases were serial murders. In other words, the victims die more. It can be seen from this how good the public security level of this city is. Upon hearing these words, Sadomiko was overjoyed and said, Thank you, young man. She didn't have much hope when she asked Bai Yi for help. After all, although the police and civilians are close, there are too few citizens willing to cooperate with them. Unexpectedly, this time she met such a good person as Bai Yi. It seems that even the heavens can't stand that robber just now. Seeing Sadomiko get into the car, Bai Yi decisively started the car, stepped on the gas pedal, and the car crashed out. In the next moment, just after fastening her seatbelt, Miko Sato saw the scenery outside the window rapidly regressing, and the speed of the regressing was almost like leaving a shadow upon seeing this, Miko Sato couldn't help but say, wait. Little brother, are you speeding? This speed, no matter how you look at it, definitely exceeds 50 km per hour. No, I'm afraid it's already over 100 km per hour. And this car is still accelerating over time 120, 150, Officer Sato, we are currently catching criminals. If we slow down, we won't be able to catch them. Moreover, don't worry, my driving skills are very good and there won't be any accidents, Bai Yi said with a slight curl of his mouth finally, someone is willing to tell him that he can legally drive fast. It's not easy. You should know that when he arrived, his basic speed was around 95, and Yu Yu reading www.yuukangshu.net posted his top speed of 100 km per hour repeatedly jumping horizontally. But in the city, it had to be lowered. After all, he came to Japan as an undercover police officer, not to squat, so he still needs to comply with traffic rules to some extent. But on the streets of Japan, the speed limit is really too severe. He feels a headache driving at that turtle speed. But now it's different. With the endorsement of Miko Sato, he no longer needs to worry about speed limits. Sato Miko was dumbfounded and said, Hee hee. You're also saying. Everyone else is speeding. If you continue to obediently follow the traffic rules and chase after them slowly when you come here, then if you want to catch the culprit, you may have to go to the next life. Special moments require special actions. While thinking this, Mito Sato and Miko secretly observed Bai Yi. Then she was surprised to discover something. That is, Bai Ye's driving skills are really as good as he said. This can be seen from the operation of Bai Yi. Because, whether it's traveling on the highway in the city or turning, the speed during the day and night has not slowed down much. As for the expression on his face, he remained calm from beginning to end, just like this was just a small case. Seeing this, Mito Sato nodded secretly. I didn't expect the, enthusiastic citizen, who was caught casually to have such impressive driving skills, even not inferior to her racing master. It seems that she has some good luck today. At this moment, the voice of Bai Yi suddenly sounded, interrupting her thoughts. Officer Sato, we're catching up with them. Chapter 6 Luminous, One is Enough You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Really Sato Miko was slightly taken aback. She had thought about catching up with the robber quickly with her white knight driving skills and speed, but never expected it to be so fast. But when she regained her senses and looked at the Volkswagen car in front of them, which was only four or five meters away, she couldn't help but be surprised. Little brother, is there a way to force them to stop? Of course, if there is danger, forget it. Of course. No problem, 
Bai Yi said with a slight curl in his mouth and a confident expression on his face as the words fell, Bai Yi fiercely stepped on the accelerator, boom. At the next moment, with a roar, the front of the silver-gray Mercedes-Benz W210 lifted slightly, then rushed out like a catapult, quickly surpassing the gray Volkswagen, and then a dragon swayed its tail, blocking the gray Volkswagen's path. Seeing the W210 of Bai Yi appear coldly ahead and block their way, the Volkswagen quickly breaks urgently. When the Volkswagen car insurance was parked less than two meters away from W210, the driver on the Volkswagen car breathed a sigh of relief and without hesitation opened the window, cursing loudly at Bai Yi, how do you drive? I don't know how to look at the road. Is there something wrong with your mind? My brain is naturally not sick. Bai Yi raised his eyebrows lightly, with a hint of amusement at the corner of his mouth. But I don't know if you have anything else to do next. Criminal gangs like this, having them in black is enough. As for the other little fish and shrimp, let's go to the police station and have a good meal. As the words fell, Misako Sato opened the car door, jumped down agilely, and approached the man in black and others. Ichiro Yamaguchi, considering your previous robbery, I am now officially arresting you and your accomplices. Surprisingly, it's you bastard woman, you're really persistent. Upon seeing the appearance of Miko Sato, several men on the Volkswagen car immediately turned pale, especially the man in black who had previously appeared. He thought that after merging with his companions, Miko Sato had no choice but to deal with them. After all, two legs cannot run on four legs. Who would have thought that the other party didn't know where to find a helper? Now, they can't run away. Damn it, since you don't give us a way out, then don't blame us for being impolite. Seeing that there was no way to escape, the man in black suddenly felt evil in his heart and became angry towards his gallbladder. She's only one person, no, two people. Kill them, we can still escape. With this thought in mind, the man in black and his companions in the car exchanged a glance, and then emerged from the Volkswagen car. They decided to deal with Miko Sato and Shirakaki before continuing their escape. Unfortunately, although they have an advantage in numbers, they clearly overestimated their combat effectiveness and underestimated the level of brutality of the female police officer, Mizuko Sato. It should be noted that being able to stand out among many male police officers as a woman and become a police assistant in the Murder Investigation Department of the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department's Criminal Investigation Division was not only due to her father, Sato Masayoshi, who was posthumously appointed as a police officer after her death, but also due to her personal efforts. At the very least, even when wearing high heels, there are still many police officers who can't keep up with it. On the other hand, when he saw a black-clad man named Ichiro Yamamoto and his accomplices surrounding Sato Miko, Chirikaki was not in a hurry. Because he knew that although there were many powerful men like the man in black, in fact, it wouldn't cause any trouble for Sato Miko. As expected, soon after, Baiyi heard the screams of several people, especially the man in black who screamed extremely mournfully. Obviously, Miyako Sato hates him extremely. You can really run. You've run so far. Sato Miko muttered in a mournful tone as she took out handcuffs and handcuffed the man in black. You know, I'm still on vacation today. Is there anyone in this world who has to work overtime despite being on vacation? Upon hearing these words, Bai Yi tilted her head and said, What did they steal? Is it a bank? No, it's a mobile phone store, Sato Miko explained to Bai Yi as she handcuffed another man. When I was eating at a nearby restaurant, I saw them robbing a mobile phone store. Surprisingly went to grab a mobile phone store. Looking at the man in black and others, Bai Ye's mouth twitched slightly and said, Are you afraid there's a hole in your brain? What do you think? Even if you grab your phone, it's not easy to sell it. Moreover, aren't all the robbers in the movie robbing banks? When they arrived at your place, they actually came to rob a mobile phone store. You don't think it's embarrassing? Do you think we don't want to rob the bank? As soon as these words were spoken, the man in black replied with some frustration, but there are guards in the bank, 
and they all have guns. We can't beat them. Who doesn't know that robbing a bank or a gold shop brings money quickly, but if you have a chance to rob, you also have to spend your life. Of course, if they can also get guns, then let's talk about it separately. Baiyi pondered for a moment and said, no problem. Seeing that Baiyi had started chatting with the prisoner, Sadomiko gave him a surprised look. This guy really has leisure and elegance. Thinking this way, she was about to ask Bai Yi for help, but the next moment, her pupils suddenly shrank and she said, be careful. Before she could finish speaking, a prisoner who had not yet been handcuffed by her and had climbed to the vicinity of W210 by Bai Yi suddenly jumped up from the ground, took out a dagger from his pocket, and quickly placed it around Bai Ye's neck. Seeing this, Miko Sato became anxious and said, damn it, you let go of him. Let go of him. The robber's face was grim and gloomy, it's only you who let go of us. Stinky woman, I warn you, if you don't obediently listen to me and release my companion, then I'll kill this guy. Miko Sato's face darkened. If Bai Yi, a kind-hearted citizen, had any major problems, she might regret it for a lifetime. After all, if it weren't for her requisitioning Bai Ye's vehicles to pursue the criminals, Bai Ye wouldn't have been in such danger. But if the prisoners who were finally caught are released, let's not say for now. After these people gather, will they repent and continue to take action against Bai Ye? For example, if such a group of dangerous elements escape, it will undoubtedly be irresponsible to other citizens. However, if she refuses the robber's request, then White Knight will be in danger. For a moment, Misako Sato was caught in a dilemma. Chapter 7 Evil people still need to be sharpened. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. What are you waiting for? Hurry up and let go. Seeing that Mito Sato and Koko had not taken any action for a long time, the robber became anxious and tightened his dagger. The cold dagger pressed against Bai Ye's neck, and with just a little force, the sharp blade could cut through his skin and take his life. I warn you, don't play tricks on me. You'd better quickly release all my companions, otherwise I'll kill this guy. He doesn't have the patience to continue wasting time with Miyako Sato. After all, no one knows if Mito Sato and Koko had informed other police colleagues when they arrived. If not, then it's okay. But if there is, then none of them will be able to escape by then. Okay, I'll listen to you. As long as you don't hurt him, he's innocent. Taking a deep glance at the robber, especially the dagger that was hanging around by Ye's neck, Sadomiko reluctantly took out the key to the handcuffs from his pocket. Of course, the robber may not have the courage to actually take action against Bai Yi. After all, the consequences of murder are far more serious than robbery, and it is also more sentencing. But she dare not, nor can she gamble. Because she couldn't watch Bai Yi, a warm-hearted citizen, suffer harm because of her actions. However, just as she was about to untie the handcuffs for the man in black and others, a faint voice from White Knight came to her ear. Actually, I think there can be another solution. What? As soon as these words were spoken, not only she, but also the robber involuntarily turned their gaze towards him. Making Officer Sato bow and compromise with the prisoner would undoubtedly damage the police credibility. Noticing their gaze, Bai Yi seemed unable to feel the dagger around his neck. He turned his head and stared at the robber, saying softly, All right, this robber brother. As long as you obediently surrender to Officer Sato, I will suffer some losses and show great mercy. I don't care about your offending me just now. These days, even eating a melon is dangerous. It's really too difficult. Fortunately, he has enough strength to be fearless of all the dangers brought by eating melons. Sato Miko's expression was a bit subtle, hey, hello. What the hell is this guy doing? Doing this will definitely anger that guy, right? Wait, is that what his purpose is? After all, it is easy for people to do some foolish things in irrational situations. Thinking of this, and recalling the calm expression on Baye's face, Sato Miko's eyes flickered slightly. 
she thought she might have guessed by Ye's plan. However, just in case, secretly, she was prepared to take action at any time to protect the safety of Bai Yi. Upon hearing Bai Ye's words, the robber was momentarily stunned and then became furious, bastard. Are you a hostage or am I a hostage? Can you have some sense of being a hostage? Don't be too arrogant to me. If it weren't for this jerk's help earlier, that policewoman wouldn't have had a chance to stop them. Now that it's all in his hands, how dare the other party tease him like this? What a great deal of deception. He immediately prepared to teach Bai Yi a lesson. Seeing this, Bai Yi let out a slight sigh and said, Hey, I really mean it for you. Why don't you understand? If possible, he really doesn't want to take action. After all, he had only been juiced by a spicy woman before, and now his body is still in a recovery period, not at its peak. For my good. The robber chuckled angrily, then you can continue to be good for me in hell. After speaking, the robber wanted to use a dagger to put some blood on Bai Ye's body, making him understand how heavy the cost of mocking him was. But before he could move, he realized that his wrist holding the dagger had been grabbed by Bai Yi. Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net then, Bai Yi clasped his wrist like this, keeping his neck farther and farther away from the dagger in his hand. Along the way, he had tried to resist and struggle, but unfortunately, even though he exerted all his strength to fight against Bai Yi and even used his hands, he could only watch helplessly as the dagger in his hand grew further and further away from Bai Ye's neck. Seeing this scene, Miyako Sato's eyes lit up. Sure enough, she knew that Bai Yi, a kind-hearted citizen, was not the kind of person with courage and no strategy. Now it seems that it is indeed so. With one hand clasping the robber's wrist, Bai Yi sighed slightly and said, It's all for your own good. Why can't you understand my hard work? The robber's whole body was trembling violently as he was wrapped around his wrist by Bai Ye's hand. That's a trembling anger. Surprisingly, being mocked by a little ghost. Who can bear it, who can't bear it? Immediately, the robber couldn't help but curse loudly, Little devil, I must kill you. But halfway through the scolding, his words were completely blocked in his mouth and turned into screams. Because, Bai Ye's fist has arrived. It may seem like a very ordinary fist, but its strength is extremely fierce. Bang! The robber's fragile nose bridge was directly broken by this punch, and blood flowed uncontrollably from his nostrils. As for him as a whole, he stumbled uncontrollably and fell to the ground as he fell to the ground, Bai Yi, who still felt resentful, simply kicked him hard in the face the next moment, the scene heard the mournful cries of the robber. Chapter 8 Who doesn't like the male protagonist of Isaac? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Looking coldly at the robber, who still had a painful expression on his face after being bandaged, Misako Sato mercilessly issued the final verdict. Jiro Ida, I am now formally arresting you on charges of robbery, committing murder with a knife, and endangering public safety. After speaking, she directly rewarded the robber who was still bleeding with a large silver bracelet. In the future, you and your companions should reflect well in the prison. She gave a silver bracelet to one of the robbers and handed them over to her colleagues who came to reinforce them. Mitsuko Sato turned her gaze to Shirakawa, her eyes full of admiration, and she said, TSK, you have a hand. I didn't expect that besides your good driving skills, your military prowess is also quite impressive. Miyako Sato made a comment. Especially the punch just now, it was pretty good. Bai Yi smiled slightly and said, To be honest, I learned some kung fu in that ancient country in the East before. That ancient Eastern country. Upon hearing the name, Officer Sato's eyes lit up. I heard that people there all know martial arts. Well, although it's not entirely accurate, it's about the same. Bai Yi said with a serious expression, Children in that country would practice the profound martial arts of the call of the times in elementary school. Bai Ye's words are not necessarily deceiving Miko Sato. Because the times are calling, this thing is really martial arts. 
Although it doesn't have much killing power, that's all. However, it is definitely top-notch for strengthening the body and exercising muscles and bones. Sato Miko nodded thoughtfully and said, Is that so? It seems that if there is a chance, I will also go to that country. Bayit smiled slightly and said, That ancient country will definitely not disappoint Officer Sato. However, when I was teaching that guy a lesson earlier, I might have gone a little too far. I don't know, Officer Sato, can we? Don't worry. The police won't trouble you, said Sato Miko, patting her chest to show her attitude by ye is a kind-hearted citizen who helps the police catch criminals. Even if it's just for this point, she won't give anyone a chance to blame by ye for taking too much action. Not to mention, by Ye's move this time was completely self.defense. Thank you very much, Officer Sato. With the intervention of Miko Sato, the flower of the Metropolitan Police Department, it is not worth mentioning that he accidentally dealt too much with the prisoner. Hi, it's all small things. Sato Miko waved her hand, but as she spoke, she suddenly realized a question, by the way, I don't know your name yet. It's really impolite not to ask by Ye's name when I was only chasing the culprit before. Is my name? Bai Ye's mouth slightly raised, revealing a sunny smile. My name is Aozaki Bai Ye, Officer Sato. Just call me Bai Ye. Is it a white knight? I know. Sato Miko's eyes flickered slightly before patting Bai Ye's shoulder. When I saw injustice on the road, I pulled out my sword to help. Bai Ye Jun, you are a good person. All right, give me an address. I will send you the certificate and bonus that were sent above. That's not necessary. Bai Yi smiled faintly and politely declined, serving the people is something we should do. Upon hearing these words, Officer Sato's eyes flickered, his smooth lips lifted upwards, revealing a pleased smile. Not only does he look handsome, but his driving skills and military prowess are also very good, and he also has a strong sense of justice. She is really looking more and more at Bai Yi now. Okay, since you don't want a certificate, why don't I treat you to a meal as a thank you gift? Bai Yi tilted his head and said, No need, right? I just happened to pass by and help, Officer Sato. You don't need to be so enthusiastic, do you? Although that's the case, there are actually very few people willing to extend their hands at that time. And I don't like to owe people favors, said Mito Sato, shaking her head with a smile, all right, let's not talk about that. Let's go eat something nearby. You know, I was just chasing the culprit and ordered something but didn't have time to eat. As they spoke, Misako Sato couldn't help but drag Bai Yi into the car the taste of Death Lamy and Noodles restaurant. Looking at the sign in front of her, Mikiko Sato popularized the science of Bai Yi, an outsider. Speaking of Tokyo cuisine, the Lamian noodles in the Taste of Death Lamian Noodles restaurant is also a feature. You must not miss it, by Yejuan. Moreover, it is said that the chef of this Lamian noodles shop is a mysterious figure. He never appears in front of guests, and only sells 100 bowls of Lamian noodles every day. Once it is sold out, it will close. However, this has not affected the popularity of this Lamian noodles shop. On the contrary, its mystery and delicious food have attracted many people to taste it. Bai Yi looked slightly sideways and said, Then I'll have a good taste. As he spoke, he walked in with Miyako Sato. As soon as you enter the door, a strong smell of Lamian noodles fills your nose, which makes your appetite open. Boss, two pork bone Lamian noodles, both large. Okay, guest, please wait a moment, it will be ready soon. Hmm. The taste is really good. When you arrive at Lamian noodles, your eyes suddenly brighten when you first taste it. Because the noodles in this Lamian noodles shop are thin and long, strong and chewy. The soup is rich, delicious and not greasy. The ingredients are rich, and the taste is excellent. People can't stop eating. Yeah, I didn't lie to you, did I? Sitting across from Bai Yi, Miko Sato looked proud. 
If it weren't for the delicious lamian noodles in this house, she wouldn't take it as a thank that you gift. Since you think it's delicious, then eat more. As she spoke, Misako Sato took a big bite without paying any attention to her appearance. Her style is completely incompatible with that of a lady. But it's just such a carefree woman who has captivated the group of men at the Tokyo Warning Hall. It has to be said that the world is really wonderful. Perhaps it was because the action of arresting prisoners consumed too much. Soon, Miko Sato destroyed a large bowl of lamian noodles. Seeing this, Baiyi timely handed over a tissue. Thank you, took the tissue handed over by Baiyi, Sato Miko wiped her delicate little mouth, and then instinctively touched her stomach. Yu Yu reading www.yuyukangshu.net Although this dish of pork bone lamian noodles is very large, it's a pity that she hasn't had enough. However, Bai Yi was still nearby, and she felt a bit embarrassed to order another one. After all, the nickname, Big Stomach King, is not very friendly for girls. Seeing Miko Sato's expression of still wanting, Bai Yi pondered and said, Officer Sato, why don't we have another bowl? No, no need, said Mito Sato with a reserved expression even though she may be so carefree and carefree on weekdays, after all, she is still a girl and really doesn't want to be given such an unpleasant nickname as Big Stomach Girl. Is that right? I know. Bai Ye's eyes flashed slightly, then decisively greeted the boss of Lamian Noodles Restaurant, Boss, another bowl. As he said, Bai Ye looked at Miko Sato opposite, Officer Sato, I'm not full yet. However, there are so many portions of Lamian noodles in this house, I can't finish the next bowl alone. By then, the food left unfinished will be wasted. Wasting food is a shameful behavior. So, in order to prevent me from becoming the shameful person who wastes food, why don't you help me solve some problems? There's really nothing I can do about you. Upon hearing these words, Mito Sato and Miko gave Bai Yi a deep glance. Bai Yi Jun, you are really gentle. With this thought in mind, a bright smile bloomed on her face, then I'll share some of it with you. She is not a fool, so she can naturally see that Bai Ye's actions are not endless, they are just pretending to be for the sake of someone who is not yet full. For a moment, her heart was filled with a fondness for Bai Yi. Chapter 9 your uncle dotes on her. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Ha, huh, putting down the dishes in her hand, Sato Miko took the tissue handed over by Bai Yi, wiped her mouth, and then showed a comfortable expression, sure enough, it's still the most comfortable to have eaten enough. Officer Sato, are you full now? Bai Yi looked at her lightly with a smile on his lips. Do you want another bowl? He is not very hungry, after all, he has already had a big meal on the plane. So, there is no doubt that the extra bowl of noodles has gone into the stomach of Miko Sato. No need. Miyako Sato couldn't help but give him a coquettish glance. She's just so hungry because chasing criminals has consumed a lot of energy, and she's not really the king of stomachs. And don't always be Officer Sato, just call me Mikako. Officer Sato, that's too polite. After such a transaction, everyone can now be considered friends. There is no need to be so polite among friends. Okay. Bai Yi followed the flow of kindness. He is not very fond of Japanese people's respect for each other. He naturally wouldn't be unwilling to get rid of such trouble if there was an opportunity right now. Miss Maihizi, please give me more guidance in the future. Looking at Bai Ye's bright and clear eyes, Mito Sato nodded gently and said, Hmm, please give me more guidance. After taking a break, Mizuko Sato stood up and prepared to pay the bill. Boss. How much does it cost? But before she could even settle the bill, Bai Ye took out her wallet, took out a few bills, and handed them to the nearby boss, let me do it. Sato Miko was momentarily taken aback and said, Ah. I've agreed to treat you, how can I make you pay? Hi. Bai Yi waved his hand and said, there's no such thing as coming out to eat together and letting a girl pay for it. Of course, if you really feel bad about my heezy, it's no big deal. 
please come back next time. Come and go, this gives us the opportunity for our relationship to quickly heat up. Sato Miko pondered for a moment and nodded, um. Okay then. Three bowls of noodles are not worth much money, and she doesn't need to compete with Bai Yi. And when you think about it, even though the Lamian noodles noodles in this Lamian noodles restaurant are delicious, they are somewhat shabby as a thank that you gift. So, let's treat you again next time. Putting away his wallet, Bai Yi looked at Mizuko Sato and said, Mizuko, are you going back now? Or are you planning to stroll around for a while before returning? Looking up at the sky, Miyako Sato had an answer and said, Now. It's getting late, if she doesn't go back, her mother will have to worry. Moreover, after all, she hasn't driven out, and if she goes back later, she will have to deliver it day and night. If you delay the other party for too long, that's not good either. Although it was thanks to this, she only met Bai Yi. It can only be said that with one drink and one peck, there is a fixed number. Bai Yi nodded and said, Okay, then I'll take you back. Going back naturally refers to Miyako's home. After all, Miko Sato is on vacation today, so it's impossible for Bai Yi to take her to the police station. Sato Miko pursed her lips and said, Hmm, please, I live in. However, the address she provided left Bai Yi slightly stunned. Because he is very familiar with the location of the community mentioned by Mito Sato and Koko. It is precisely near his foothold in Mihua town. Bertrand also arranged many places for him to settle down like this. Since the arrival of the virtuous wife, Belmert, Bai Yi has never bothered about such expenses and is only responsible for lying flat. After all, Belmud's money is his money. The same applies. Sato Miko tilted her head and said, What's wrong? Is there anything wrong with this place? Taking a deep glance at her, Bai Ye's face was full of meaning. That's not true, it's just that we're quite destined, he said as soon as I arrived in Japan, I met Mizuko Sato, not to mention her place of residence, which was also very close. It's hard to say that I didn't have the chance. Sato Miko blinked her big eyes, a little puzzled, hmm. Speaking of which, my Heezy, you may not believe me, but I live near you. Upon hearing these words, Miyako Sato's eyes lit up and she said, Hmm. Where? It's right next door to your community. Hey. Our neighborhood is next door. How could it be? Miko Sato, looking incredulous, isn't that a fairly high dot end apartment over there? Why are you? The apartment next to their community has an extraordinary housing price, almost so high that it shocked even the police department. At the age of Bai Yi, no matter how you think, it's impossible wait, is Bai Yi the young master of a wealthy family? Well, upon careful consideration, looking at the outfit and conversation of Bai Yi, there is indeed such a possibility. TSK, having money is really good. I can even afford such a high dot end apartment, and I'm a little envious. With this thought in mind, Miko Sato's eyes rolled and he said, By the way, Bai Yi Jun, are you doing anything tomorrow? While holding the seat belt, Bai Yi looked at Mizuko Sato on the passenger seat and said, I don't have it yet. What's going on? Because he didn't follow the plan formulated by Qin Jiu, he didn't need to rush to the police station to report. In other words, he is now a free person who can arrange his time freely. It is precisely because of this that whether there is anything to do tomorrow depends entirely on his mood. Since you have nothing to do tomorrow and are still living so close. Miko Sato patted Bai Ye's shoulder. Why don't you come and give me a ride tomorrow morning, Bai Ye Jun? If it weren't for her colleagues having to go to work tomorrow and being a bit far from where she lives, she wouldn't have thought of asking Bai Ye, someone she just met, for help. Don't worry. I won't let you help in vain. Bai Yi raised his eyebrows lightly and said, I don't remember when I was promoted to be your full dot time driver for my heezy sister. Mito Sato felt a bit embarrassed and said, Well. My car hasn't been repaired yet, so I have to work tomorrow. So. Bai Ye's expression was taken for granted, then let's fight. Did you do it? 
Miko Sato said with a haunted expression, are you serious? If you take a taxi from my home to the police station, it's very expensive. The Japanese meter is similar to a stopwatch, basically taking a taxi for a day and working for nothing. Get some sleep, you're probably going bankrupt. Unless there is a mine at home. As a police supplement, although her salary is relatively good, she can only take the tram. As for renting, it's really too luxurious. With this thought in mind, Mito Sato and Akihiro looked at Shirakawa with sincerity, closing their hands and saying, So, okay, Shirakawa. A slightly coquettish tone. Perhaps even she herself was unaware of this. Is that so? Baiyi frowned slightly. He just remembered that renting in Japan is very expensive. Although the starting price is not too expensive, it can't withstand the fast price jump. The prices in Japan are very high, but taking a taxi can be so high that even their own people think it's too high. Long-distance taxis are more expensive than TM tickets. A few thousand, even tens of thousands of hairs, is not an exaggeration. Those who can afford to take a taxi in Japan are all wealthy people. Okay. I got it. Tomorrow I'll go pick you up, Miss Maihizi. Thank you so much, Baiyi Jun. Miyako Sato sincerely thanked her, you've been a big help. Baiyi casually waved his hand and said, it's a small matter. It's not worth mentioning. All right, sit still, I'm about to depart. After finishing speaking, when Sato Miko fastened his seatbelt, Baiyi decisively started the car. Amidst the roar, the silver-gray W210 sped rapidly, quickly leaving all the cars around it in the scenery behind. Chapter 10 Old Cows Eat Young Grass You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Sato Family Maihizi As soon as Sato Miko opened the door, a middle-aged woman with a somewhat similar appearance and a gossipy expression on her face rushed out excitedly, Who is that boy? Originally, she only heard the strange sound of cars, so she instinctively looked out from the balcony. I didn't expect to unexpectedly see my daughter walk off the car, and she looked very familiar with the handsome boy driving. This couldn't help but give her a bold guess. Could it be that her precious daughter finally found out about dating? And the object of love is that handsome boy. After realizing this, she immediately felt relieved. God knows how much heart she has broken over her own daughter's marriage. I asked a large group of people I knew, and I also prepared a large stack of blind date photos. As a result, my daughter either says she doesn't feel anything or excuses herself with busy work, which makes her so angry that she can't handle it. I finally see some hope now, and it's hard not to let her down. What, what? Due to her mother's overly hot gaze, both Mito Sato and Miko couldn't help but take two steps back in fear. That's the boy who just brought you back. Oh, you said by Yejuan. After subconsciously answering, Sato Miko suddenly realized something was wrong and explained, Mom, don't misunderstand. By Yejuan and I are just friends. Her mother's expression was so familiar to her that she clearly felt something about the two of them. Really, she's only 28 years old. As for urging her to get married every day. Being nagged by the leader in the police station is enough, even when I return home, I feel uneasy. 28, is it very big? Recalling by Ye's young and handsome face, Sato Miko felt a little guilty and had an answer. 28, it's really big. Now it's a friend. Sato's mother glared at her in anger, then said in a friendly tone, not necessarily in the future. Is there pure friendship between men and women? Perhaps there are, but very few. Many opposite sex friends are getting along and getting along. Moreover, her daughters have already called each other by Yi Jun and even claimed that they are just ordinary friends, deceiving ghosts. Also, the boy finally brought you back, why don't you invite him over to sit at home and have a cup of tea or something? He's really not sensible. As she spoke, Sato's mother gave Sato Miko a fierce glare, 
clearly blaming her for not being sensible. Seeing her mother like that, Sadomiko sighed slightly and said, he still has something to do. Having something to deal with during the day and night is one aspect. On the other hand, it's because of her mother. Her mother has been pushing marriage crazy in recent years. If she really dares to bring Bai Yi home, then it's hard to say. The next step is for her to meet Bai Ye's parents and discuss their marriage. Hey, how much does her mother look down on her? She thinks she's unmarried and will end up alone. Don't look at her like this, she's quite popular in the police station, but for some reason, she doesn't want to date for the time being. Ding Ling Ling Dot Just as Miko Sato was feeling a headache from her mother's questioning, suddenly her phone rang upon seeing the caller, Mito Sato's face changed slightly and she instinctively glanced at her mother. Because the name displayed above is clearly White Knight. As for when did the two exchange phone numbers? It's naturally in the car. After all, Bai Yi has to pick up Mizuko Sato to work tomorrow, and it's not convenient without a contact information. Is it the young man who just brought you back? His name is Bai Yejuan, right? Ji Nu Mo Rumu saw the expression on Sato Miko's face, and Sato's mother immediately guessed who the owner of the phone was. She eagerly urged, since it's Bai Yi Jun's call, why are you waiting? With a slight sigh, Misako Sato walked aside and answered the phone. Hello. The next moment, Bai Ye's gentle voice came over the phone, Mei and Zi Jia, I have already arrived home. Reporting safety at home is at least a form of politeness and also a sign of respect for the other party. So fast. Sato Miko was momentarily taken aback, but she wasn't surprised to think that Bai Ye was living next door. With this thought in mind, she pursed her lips and said, It's good when it arrives. You really worked hard today. This little thing is nothing, it should be. Bai Yi smiled faintly. By the way, I forgot to ask in the car just now. My Heezy, what time should I pick you up tomorrow? Hmm. Miko Sato's eyes flickered for a moment. The commuting time of Japanese police officers is similar to that of employees from other companies or government agencies. Working hours, usually from 8 o'clock a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. Well, of course, if there is a sudden case or something like that, then let's talk about it separately. Let's do it at 6.30. Considering that you may not be familiar with the domestic transportation situation when you only return from abroad at night, setting off earlier can also avoid traffic congestion, lateness, and other situations. As she spoke, Misako Sato glared fiercely at her mother who had come to eavesdrop and wanted her to leave. Unfortunately, Sato's mother, who finally saw the possibility of her own daughter's marriage, refused to leave, leaving Miyako Sato extremely angry but unable to do anything about her. Baiyi nodded lightly and said, Is it 6.30? I know. I will arrive on time. Although 6.30 is early, it is not a problem for him as a young and vigorous young man. No big deal, just go to bed early tonight. On the other hand, while Mito Sato and Koko were not paying attention, Sato's mother leaned over to the phone and said, actually, it's okay to be early. Upon hearing a strange voice suddenly coming from the phone, Bai Yi was a bit shocked and said, hmm. What is the situation? Feeling upset, she pushed her mother away from the phone. Misako Sato, feeling embarrassed, explained to the other end of the phone, hug. Sorry, it's my mother. Mom. Oh, it's auntie. Baiyi tilted her head and politely greeted Sato's mother, hello auntie. Oh, roar. This child is so polite. Despite Sato Miko's push, Sato's mother, who once again, shamelessly, approached, covered her mouth and chuckled, Are you called Bai Yi Jun? You're also good. By the way, Bai Yi Jun, remember to come to my house early tomorrow to pick up my heezy. Auntie will make bento for you then. Mom. Sato Miko, who was furious, couldn't help but let out a scream. All right, Bai Yi Jun, let's not talk for now. Let's meet tomorrow and talk. 
Although the two of them had nothing to do, the appearance of their own mother made Sadomiko feel both angry and a little guilty. Oh, oh. Doodle doodle. After hanging up the phone, Misako Sato looked at the troublemaker mother with a shy and angry expression, Mom. What are you doing? How could my mother feel embarrassed to see Baiyi tomorrow if she did this? Sato's mother, however, didn't care about her daughter's shyness or anger at all. Instead, she said with a mischievous smile, she even said she's just an ordinary friend. They all came specifically to pick you up for work. Makako, you're not being good. Upon hearing these words, Miko Sato, who had just been angry, suddenly turned into Daduyan and said, No it's not like this. We only met today. Did you only meet today? Upon hearing these words, Sato's mother was taken aback for a moment, then looked up and down at her daughter with a strange expression and joked, We only got to know each other for a day, and your relationship has become so good that we not only call each other's names, but also pick them up and drop them off. Makako, even if you don't want to be honest with me, come up with a better reason. In Japan, it is not allowed to simply call the other person's name, only if the relationship is very close. Calling someone by their name directly when they are not familiar with them can appear very impolite and disrespectful. Now her daughter, along with the White Knight Lord, not only shout each other's names, but they also come specifically to pick her up and take her to work. I have to say that Yu Yu reading www.yuukangshu.net is just a stranger they just met for a day, she doesn't believe it. In her opinion, this is more about her daughter being embarrassed to tell her about something related to the White Knight Lord. But he calls you, my heezy sister. Is it because he's younger than you? How many years younger is he? Sato Miko instinctively replied, nine years old. Nine years younger. Sato's mother was somewhat shocked. Isn't he only nineteen? At nineteen years old, is this just a college student? However, although her daughter is suspected of eating tender grass with an old cow, let's eat tender grass. It's always better, no one wants it, always lonely and old. It's really you, my heezy. How could you hook up with such a young boy? Watching her daughter with two suspicious red clouds floating on her cheeks, Sato's mother smiled with relief. She used to worry that no one would like her daughter's profession and her carefree and carefree personality. Unexpectedly, the other party has quietly hooked up with a young man. She really looks up to me. With this thought in mind, Sato's mother, who was pleasantly surprised, quickly walked up to her husband Sato Masayoshi's tablet, clasped her hands together, and said, Anadeo from heaven, have you seen it? Our Makako finally knows how to make bok choy. And it's also a fresh and delicious little bok choy, it's really great. As soon as these words were spoken, Misako Sato, who was already embarrassed and annoyed by her unauthorized speech, became even more embarrassed and angry. We've already said it, we're just friends. Mom, why is she like this? Moreover, if that guy by Yi is a little cabbage, isn't Sato Miko and her husband a pig that has turned cabbage? Are you joking? It's clear that she's the one who's right about Xiao Bai Kai.